Wayne Camp from Fishing Monthly. I'm talking to Scott from Horizon Boats in regard to this Butte 525 Scorpion. Scott, how are you this morning? Good in yourself. Hey Scott, I must say I'm pretty impressed with the drive in the 525 Scorpion. Yeah, it's one of our most popular models. Um, it's quite a nice boat, um, beamy boat. Yeah. yeah. Scotty, what, a, what a sort of thing I like, uh, It's to me, it's in many ways a really good all-rounder. It is. A, a it couple is. of blokes are really keen on their fishing. They could take this craft anywhere in the Bay or Estuary, run out through the seaway on the right sort of day, no issues with that whatsoever. Yep. And yet mum and dad and the kids, they'd have a great time with it as well. They've got room in the front here, sit down out of the weather, deep bunks. How deep would you say the bunks are, the, the storage under them? The storage under them would be about 400 mil, yeah. um, giving ample storage. I mean, you've even, put, you've even put ice coolers and things in there, along with your spare tackle and clothing. Well, truly. Yeah. Well, truly. Uh, and Scott, that F70A, that's been a great success story for Yamaha, and I'm not surprised you've chosen it for your boat. Uh, is it maximum size? No, it's not the maximum size. 90 horsepower is maximum size for this boat, but we find the 70 is the best suited. Um, averaging sort of three kilometres per litre, um, which is right up there in the figures. And that's at a cruising speed, is it? And that's at a cruising speed, oh, 4,500. Well, I'll tell you what, with the, with the price of fuel going up and down, if you bought the motor now, yep. even though fuel's cheap, cheap, in a couple of years if it goes up in price, you still wouldn't be sorry with your choice. It's a great little motor. Definitely not. And plus, we've got a 110 litre underfloor fuel tank in this model, so you've got plenty of Big plenty cruise. of range. Big cruising range. And I know, too, with three of us aboard, the boat had all the get up and go you'd ever want. Like, it's up and planing in about two of its own lengths. Yeah, it, it's, it's got plenty of power. That's 70 horsepower is just perfectly matched yeah. um, and performs exceptionally well on this yeah. package. Yeah, look, Scott, looking at the boat, just for the fishing craft alone, I see your rear seat there can either have three positions there. You can take it right out of the boat if yep. you don't want it. Then you've got the combing there to brace yourself onto the stern. Yep. You can have it there for a couple of people to sit on, and yep. when you want to fish, you can actually lower it flat, and it just forms part of the brace point. Brace point it does, stern. and it's got an area where it can move out of the way, so you can lock your legs under, and it's not going to impede your fishing yeah. room. Yeah. And looking at your cockpit, you, you, you've got a, what, about 80, 80 centimetres cockpit, 800 uh, mil cockpit? Yeah, it'll be close to that, if, if, if not yep. a little bit more. Yeah, um, and you've got a metre high sides, I mean, there's a lot of good sea keeping with this craft. Yeah, you? you've got great stability at rest, you've got our hydro lift hull, Yep. Um, which has nice big reverse trines to give you stability at rest. Yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah, but I also that allows around. for a deep V to give it a nice smooth ride and dry ride when underway. Yeah, I, I um, had a look at those features while you were launching on the Dunbeer trailer, which is a good brand of trailer, of course. Yeah, they're perfectly matched for our boats. Um, we actually increase our warranty to three years when matched with a Dunbeer trailer, and Dunbeer do the same thing at the, at yeah. the same time. And Scott, you'd tow this uh, craft with your like, ordinary family sedan, wouldn't you? Well and truly, well hmm. and truly. So the boat weight, dry weight, is 400 kilos. So as a combined weight, you're looking at about eight, 900 kilos with fuel. Yeah, well, an awful lot of family sedans will tow it, eh? You wouldn't need an expensive four-wheel drive. Now, Scott, what impressed me, one of the most amazing things was the actual low price of the craft. What do you say it was again? So entry level price for this package with the 74 stroke mm. uh, is about 31,990. Yeah, I mean, to look at it, you think, oh, that's got to be a $45,000 boat, but it's not. No, it's, it's got a great entry level package price, mm. um, which is perfect for the family um, and, and gets them into boating nice, quick and easy. Yeah. Now look, it's got a lot to like about it. I mean, you can sit in there out of the weather. If you want to get at the anchor, you've got a massive hatch. I mean, I saw you actually move in through that hatch after we launched, so um, I photographed that. I was that yeah. impressed with it. So, I mean, a lot, a lot of boats have got a hatch there, but it, it's a tight squeeze. You know, that's, yeah, you're no, very generous. We sort of went with a, a decent-sized hatch. She's 500 by 500, um, which allows you to get in and out very, very easily. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're on a winner there. I mean, as you say, I'm not surprised it's one of your most popular boats. It's a really great all-rounder. It is. Protection from the elements, stability. I noticed it's particularly stable while we're moving around in it, yep. you know, thanks to your hull design and the mass too, you know. Yeah. And, and you've got a substantial amount of fuel under the floor if you want. That all adds to stability at rest. It does. It as, does. as well as straight tracking underway. Yeah, well and truly. Yeah. Uh, We've done a, a few refinements on these models now. Um, the batteries are central mounted and, and nice low in the in the floor area, yep. um, which also helps with the centre of gravity into the into the centre. Yeah, of the I, I think all in all, Scott, it's 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 got to be right up there with with competitors i mean it's a very very well put together package you, you your overall finish is very good yes you can see the welds but that's nothing wrong with that at least you can see they're continuous yeah. i'm always a little bit chary of welds that i can't actually see you think to yourself well how will this be in a few <laughs> years time you know well, people can be disappointed but I, I really i really like your standard finish and as far as i'm concerned it's, it's a very well put together package and I, i'd congratulate you on it thank you very much
Scott, I'm going to enjoy doing an article on it, but should people uh, need more information on the boat, uh, is there a website or where would they go for the info? Yeah, they can visit our website, which is all the W's at horizonboats.com.au. Sounds pretty good to me.